Cigars lit. And I mean, you oh, you already clicked it, so we're off and running. Not bad stuff. Oh, no. So Dave, American Dirt Baggers. John, American Dirt Baggers. Cat, American Dirt Baggers. And we're here to talk about Harley. Harley <laughs> and the uh, woke situation they're going through. Wow. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even realize. I guess that started back in 2020 when they hired this CEO who is, I don't know. Well, when I read that, about him. Not that bright if you ask my opinion. No, he's, he's a goofball. <laughs> Considers himself the Taliban of the environment. Why would you even use that word, Taliban? Taliban. Yeah. That's horrible. Well, and that's so. You, John and I were talking about it, mm-hmm. and uh, we were talking about the today. We were talking about we talked about it when we went to Sturgis. We talked about it with uh, Sean a lot. We were talking about it today, and John said he read that it was started in 2020. Hmm. I think the reason I didn't know it was started in 2020 is because the boots on ground, like Riverside, California, Harley Davidson, and Scottsdale, Scottsdale Arizona, yep. Harley Davidson. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can't tell. Fuck no. I mean, they're yeah. not bought into this. Nope. They're no, not. that's where I think it was. Yeah. Yep. Wow. In fact, I didn't even know until Sturges. Because we saw some of the empty Harley events and, and people were posting about why they're empty. His first name. But his last name is Starbuck. Yeah, Starbuck. Starbuck. Mm-hmm. He exposed them. Mm-hmm. So he's the same person that exposed, wow. I think, Bud Light going woke. Tractor Supply going woke. Target going woke. What? I don't know if he exposed oh, yeah, all those that. companies, but those are, but he, more than one. He, this isn't the only company he exposed. So wow. once he exposed them, then people kind of started to revolt. And I was watching this whole thing on the news, and the lady on the news was saying, why would a company whose most of their clientele are badass American bikers right. hire a guy to take him in this direction? That's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. that's and, and and you know I was, I was seeing videos because Sean was sending videos of guys blowing up their motorcycles and <laughs> shooting their motorcycles or Harleys. And that's stuff. hard. Taking off their emblems, mailing them back into what? the dealers, and that got the dealers engaged because they started losing customers. Oh yeah. Two hundred dealers, I guess, wrote a letter protesting this whole woke agenda. Whatever, wow. Whatever that means, it's just. It's anti-American. Yeah. It yeah. When you try to take a a, a, a persist less than 1% of the population and, and force it upon the other 99.5% of the population. I think it's ridiculous, you know. And again, I, I'm surprised we didn't know it started in 2020. I didn't even know that. But I think it's, again, boots on ground. Scottsdale, mm-hmm. Harley Davidson in Arizona, supporting the Mission 22 push-ups, hosting us when we go out there, River, Riverside, California, mm-hmm. um, hosting us when we go out there. We bought our bikes from them. Uh, they're just, it's, I had no clue, and I think that's because the corporation <coughs> decided to make a decision but the boots on ground were yeah. like nah they're disconnected from yeah the from culture reality. from the culture for yeah. sure oh yeah because yeah. the harley culture does not buy into any of this no no it's, it's ridiculous crazy you know? stuff and, and don't get me wrong we we meet some we meet diverse people out of the road that ride bikes and yep. we've never judged color sexual orientation or anything we don't care you ride a bike we like you Yep. <laughs> you know, that's not what this conversation's about. That's not. No. That's that's what where I think people tend to tend to bleed that over a little bit. And it's not that we don't we don't. We're Americans. We ride Harleys, and everybody that rides a Harley's an American. Well, yep. in the United States, so yep. I mean, mm-hmm. it's an American. It's a very iconic brand for America, Harley. Yeah. I mean, they're you know an Indian. You had an Indian. By the way, Indians getting a lot of customers now. That yeah we're, yeah. we're harley loyal yeah, and that, yeah. That, I'm, I'm harley loyal I'm, I'm sticking with them i love the bikes i love the me too i love the culture yep um and, and the reason i think i'm sticking with them is because the 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 dealerships themselves not the corporation the corporation changed their mind though yep yeah when did that Doing happen a little backpedaling they came out well once they yeah, got yesterday, exposed I think, oh they really yeah, they backpedaled and they said they haven't participated or implemented any of the I'm going to just say woke because that encompasses a lot of right. stuff. And that's what they call it. We're woke company. Woke agendas yeah. since last April. So oh, okay. they've they got wind of it and decided not good for business. I mean, why not. don't you learn this from you know Bud Light? 
yeah you hire activists to run yeah. your companies and that's what it turns into it it stops yeah. being about the the product the customer exactly. and guess what companies need to make profit and to make profit they got to sell product yep. and to sell product their product has to be wanted. Yeah. yeah, and that's Harley's a wanted product, but don't um, don't take away their American. And no. I think that's what I think that's what that did is it took away the uh, American icon of Harley, and uh, they suffered. They suffered a lot. They suffered hard. We yep. saw it in Sturgis. Yep. You know, but then uh, I was just amazed. I was amazed to hear it and read on it and listen to what everybody had to say and watching these guys just fed up with it it's like what are you doing so what's going on now with that you know, like so they they backpedaled and so yeah and we'll see how people respond to that yeah. hopefully, hopefully good i i, I yeah. love harley I'm, I'm with dave i'm sticking with harley yeah of uh course. it's an american brand and i think there's been an overall attack on the american culture with yeah. this stuff yeah oh yeah and harley is a good way to go after it so if you get somebody in there that can really kind of take harley down a bad direction that you know that really takes a chunk out of uh, an American yeah. iconic I, I think brand. When we went to Sturgis and you see all these Harleys out there, you start talking to people and they're not, you know, they're not just what do you do for a living? I'm a full time biker. No, ninety nine percent of mm-hmm. them are businessmen, business owners, all this yeah. stuff that just love the the culture Harley shows. They love to yep. ride the bikes. They love the uh, the brotherhood that you and the sisterhood yeah. you get with with, it, yeah. with a Harley. It's the culture out yeah. there. Because when we're out on the road, mm-hmm. and you're on a bike, and you see another guy on a bike or another lady on a bike, or you have more, you it, have a lot of respect. Yeah, for each you other. have a common bond. Yep. You tend to help each other. Uh, you know, a couple people we saw broken down. You, you, oh yeah. Out, hey, you're okay. You need help. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's just it's a great culture. It really is. Yeah, and you don't. You don't ask anything, but you need help. You know, right. nothing else is matters, and I think that's uh, yeah. that's the brotherhood, sisterhood, familyhood. Maybe is better terminology. Yeah, and there, <laughs> trust me, in the biker culture, there's all kinds. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and we all kinds. No one cares. Yep. You ride yeah. a bike. If yep. someone says I ride a bike, I get excited. I don't. I don't look at who they are, what they are, what do you ride. Hopefully, Harley's learned from this. Hopefully, they recover. Wow. Love the brand. Love the bike. Love the dealerships. Disappointed in the uh, the higher the leadership. Yeah. 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 So how does the do? I wonder. I'm wondering like how do the dealerships deal with this situation? Well, the best you know what I mean. Can. I know the best they can, any but it's cor- like I, you know. Any corporation's got to follow the yeah. what, what's what's handed down. But yeah. they protested yeah. back. They pushed back, which they should have. Yeah. You yeah. know, and they backed. No, somebody and, said yeah. that they changed. The Harley logo. They got yeah. rid of orange, orange. and it's what? all gray. Orange. Really? They got rid of orange because it's a fiery color. What? It's like iconic. I mean, the one I got up there, I painted that one. It's like getting rid of the red out of the flag. Yeah. yeah you, it, wow. I, I think that's going to go back. And I remember that happened a couple of years ago, and I remember seeing it a couple of years ago, and I thought, oh, that, I thought it was just a logo they did. And I yeah. Thought, that looked like, a, cool. like another version, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that that was the purpose because that seemed fiery. Mm-hmm. Aggressive. Wow. Well, fuck yeah, it's aggressive. Orange and black has been Harley as <laughs> ever, 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 and we ride aggressive. Yeah. So woke agenda, the things they support that you know you you don't people don't want their money to go into political things when you're buying a motorcycle. It's like going right. to a football game. Can it be just a football game? Exactly. Right. right. Do, or does it have to be a some sort of statement of this is what I here's a whole set of things I believe in because I go to this football game. Right. right. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Well, and then Harley, if you think, if you look at Harley, um, you think American, you think the flag, you yep. think mm-hmm. patriotism. Yep. Yep. Um, a, a lot of the motorcycle clubs that were started in the '40s and '50s were started on Harleys. Yeah. And they were mm-hmm. veterans coming back from the war needed to yeah. get rid of that, wanted that adrenaline rush that they didn't get no more, and wanted to get rid of their anxiety, and they rode. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna take and take that culture away from mm-hmm. them. I think just, you know, that's why I, I I don't think I realized it because again the two dealerships that we deal with so uh, hosted us, let us go out and do that to bring attention and we're all about red, white, and blue and you know military, all about the yep. military yeah. and the veterans and the flag and mm-hmm. you know and then to hear that it's like well they obviously didn't buy in yeah you know they the dealerships obviously didn't buy in so kudos to your dealerships yeah man thank you seen a lot more Indians. Yeah. 
I don't dislike they, them. Well, I'm just a Harley fan. Yeah, I yeah. noticed a and lot of those a, on the on the road now. Yeah. They make a great bike. They're I mean, beautiful. Polaris is doing a fantastic job with them. They got they the design. Yep. They got the you know they're fucking kicking ass on the racetrack for sure. Yep. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm with you. I'm a Harley yeah. guy. Harley. Right. It's like a Ford Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, Harley yeah. Indian. Yeah, I'm a Harley guy. Yeah, I'm a Harley guy. Don't dislike the Indians? Yeah. Nope, we rode with one at one yeah. time. We, yeah. we, got, we hooked up with a guy and rode about yeah. 100 miles with him or 50 nice. miles with yeah. him, you know. And nice I, bikes. You know, I don't know if I could bring myself to buy one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I could spend the money, I'm going with Harley. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sorry, <crazy>. Kiwi. <laughs> I know. Oops. But that's Kiwi. different. Kiwi's but, in the, the oh, original... Yeah. Original Milwaukee ba- mid built ha- And he likes the older ones. Yeah. He won't get anything that wasn't from the originals. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Uh, different. But that's, I mean, to me, that's part of the culture is is the, the love you have for your brand, being yeah. brand loyal. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Going back to Chevy and Ford, I, I'm a Ford guy by heart. I know a lot of Chevy guys. Half the fun of it's that banter. Yeah. The little sayings you got that you go shooting back and forth yep. doesn't mean you don't like the other the guy or the the really the car yeah. i mean or the brand exactly. i mean it's just your brand loyal for yep. some things yep yeah 100 yep. 100 that's i I've, I've talked to a a students are like yeah i'm gonna get me a honda i'm like cool what would you prefer i said i prefer harleys so they're better i said i prefer harleys there's yeah. nothing better yeah. right or wrong you know yeah. you're on two wheels you know right it's, just, yeah. it's yeah it's chevy ford honda toyota yep. nissan you know it's <laughs> i'm a chevy guy you mm-hmm. know and we're trying to get John to come over to the right side because, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, Fords. I'm a, I love Ford. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a Tide guy, not an all. Like, he's an all guy. I'm a Tide guy. When it comes to detergent, I don't care. I don't care about detergent. Yeah. I heard Tide went woke. <laughs> Fuck, it's crazy. Can you imagine? I didn't know John Deere went woke for a while. I didn't know John mm-hmm. Deere went woke. Tractor Supply. Yeah, yeah, really, that's, that's just crazy. Yeah, that's and they they so, I guess the difference between like Tractor and Supply and Bud Light is they they basically saw the error of the ways, came back, apologized, and went the other direction. Wow, okay. you know, you recognize what your customer base, yeah, how they respond to it. Yeah, and you know. and, and let's yeah. let I I'm not going to speak for these two. I'll just speak for myself. I don't care what you identify as i don't care what your sexual preferences are i don't care what you do in the confines of your privacy i don't care correct i just don't feel it should be forced upon me as i shouldn't be able to force my opinions on you you know and i think that's what going woke drives me a little crazy because they're trying to force a minimal amount of people's opinions on everybody else it's like no let be who you are i mean we all got our quirks in life you know but I think that's where I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. I don't want to say we because that's right, you know right, we right. have opinions I'm with here. You. Well, yeah, it's, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I mean, people are people. Yeah. I'm no better. I got issues. Oh, <laughs> like there's plenty of things well, people could get on me about, right? We don't have enough wow. time for yours. I'm always looking for grace. Always looking for grace and mercy. Yeah, you know. So, so I give it. Yeah, I give uh, it. And that, yeah. that's that's I think that's the biggest thing on this whole woke thing yep. is that you know you're we're gonna make you like it. It's like. But, what if I don't want to? Or what if I already like it? You know, you're making me like it, so I don't like it. You know, exactly. Mm-hmm. They're forcing something upon yeah. you, when yeah. yeah. And again, the iconic Harley Davidson. You say Harley, you immediately if no one's ever ridden a bike, the first thing they think of is dirty Levi's, leather Correct. jacket, yep. Yep. slick back hair, riding motorcycles, yep. causing ruckus, yeah, making a lot of noise, a lot yeah. of noise. You know, <laughs> and that, I mean, that's just that's what we do. You know, yeah. Yeah. in fact, I was a little disappointed with the factory exhaust. From Harley, yeah, they're quiet, very quiet. <laughs> I mean, they've gotten louder, yeah. I think, throughout the years, but I, I, that's so not part of like what Harleys are. But I know I get it; they have to meet certain standards, and you know, blah 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 blah. And yeah. it, I think it's employed just like a, a car. When you buy yeah. a car, you put new rims on it. Yep, you're gonna put a big mm-hmm. exhaust. And that's the cool thing about Harleys; it represents you. Everybody has exactly. their idea of what they want on a bike. Yeah, you do it to your Harley. Yep represents you no right yeah. no wrong yep well sean sean reached out to me when he first got his bike he's like 
I was thinking about doing this. What do you think? And that's exactly yeah. what I told him. I said, what do you think? That's you. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what I think. It represents you. Because I might want to do this, and you think, oh, I want to do that. You're right for right. your bike. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you got the, uh, the what handlebars did you get? I got the risers. I got the thrashing. Thrashing. Oh, nice, nice, nine and a half yeah. inch nice. pullback yep. ri- nice. risers. I got the meat hooks. Mm-hmm. Yep. Perfect for me, perfect for you. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, it's just, yeah, you make your bike yours, you know, and that's... Harleys. Yeah. You won't see, very rarely ever see the exact same bike because they nope. customize them, you know? And yeah. we saw a lot of misturges. Oh my God, it was <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, and it's funny, it's like I wanted to, because my first bike, my street glide was completely stock except for the exhaust. And I'm thinking, my next bike I want, you know, but I had to learn like what I wanted on that bike. So right. when I got my road glide, I got what I wanted. But one of the things I wanted to be able to pick it out of a lineup. And I thought my nice. black standard street glide mm-hmm. looked like every other bike. But when we were at right. Sturges, I think any, any of those people could pick out their bikes from that oh, lineup. Yeah. I mean, there was not hardly one the same. No, because yeah. you customize yep. them. Yeah. You know? I, I think I saw one with the color code like mine, but different handlebars. Yeah. There you go. You know, it's just you customize them, you know? And that's... Mm-hmm. I guess where finding out this was going on and, and hearing about it, my disappointment came in is because you customize it. You do mm-hmm. that. You're, you're an individual, you know. And then you're trying to say, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well. I'm not even clear on what complete woke thing is. I don't either. It's, it's just it's a bunch a of weird stuff, Bullsh- though. I, I, I kind of think I relate it to because some of the things I was looking into, and, of course, when you dive going down these rabbit holes on, you know, YouTube and all these places, you know, some of it may be true, some of it may not, some of it might be exaggerated. Um, but they're investing in a lot of in some transgender for kids kind what? of a thing. Mm. Oh, uh, wow. It just it's the stuff that. Look, man, I don't want any part of that. To right. Be honest with you. Right. Um, you know, if somebody struggles with that, you know. There's a lot of support, a lot of help, yeah. a lot of, you know, you don't have to have Harley or any other major right. brand. Right. Yeah, and that's, that. yeah, you, when you become an adult and you make a decision, you want to do something, you want to go from mm-hmm. one to another, kids. that's your choice. Right. And as kids, an adult, I struggle with the kids. I, yeah, yeah that, me, me too. You can't even get a tattoo as a kid. My, my, <laughs> my, I remember mine growing up. Can I get this body pierced? At 18, you sure can. Can I get a tattoo? At 18, you can make the decision, you know? Yeah. yeah. At, 13, 14, 15, yeah. they they're still dumb. So not yeah. no disrespectful dumb, but <laughs> immature dumb. They, they, yeah. they don't see know? the future. No, they don't. And yeah. that's to, 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 yeah. But you know, and the, and here's the things. Even you, you talk about like when we're out riding and most of these, the, the motorcycle club or the biker club or the Harley uh, culture, I should say, mm-hmm. not club. Yeah, culture. culture. Uh, most of it is 99%, right? Because 99% of them are 99%ers. Mm-hmm. Even the one percenters, though, they're from what I know, like Hell's Angels. I'll, t- I'll use them as an example. They're protective over kids. Of oh, course, oh, yeah, hundred oh, percent. Yeah, that's the one thing. It seems like they all kind of have in common. They might yeah. do a lot of stuff that people don't agree with, but the one thing that they exactly. are uh, very protective over kids. Yep. Yeah, and that's if yep. you look at the military uh, uh, clubs mm-hmm. and the the riding clubs and all them. They always do around Christmas time and the holidays. They do these big drives exactly. for children so yeah. it's all about the children yeah let them be children yeah. Don't yeah. yeah don't don't force them to grow up don't force them to decide if they want to be this or be that because of what they heard yeah, yeah. Right they're, now they're, they're too young they're too young Exactly. I mean, come on. We, I made decisions when I was 13. I look back at them. Well, I don't. Dude, I made dumb decisions at 28. Yeah, well, I 25. made dumb decisions at 57. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We, so when you're our age, you have a you don't have as long to live with your bad decisions. Right, right. You see the finish line. Right, right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, shit. I like that. Yeah, I'm on. But yeah, that's, I, I guess, I'm really glad they uh, they pulled back and they yeah. said, listen, we're going to we're gonna stop and we're going to. We're going to go a different direction. Um, we were going to try to get someone from Harley to, that we know that works up there and come up and talk. And we thought we don't want to put them on the spot. Yeah. Because it's their career, you know. Yeah. But 
Uh, we can share our opinions. Yep. You yeah. Know? And, uh, and we yeah. buy them. We're, we're customers. We're yeah. customers. We're going to buy Harleys. We're yeah. gonna, I spent I, more I money on Harleys than I ever did on a car, I think. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. Yep. 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, um, I mean, I'll, I'll probably wind up getting one more before I'm done because, not one more, it's about three, but trade this one in a while because <laughs> you know, it's got almost 17,000 miles on it already. Wow. You know. But, yeah, Harley through and through. Um, I hope my mind won't change. If the dealers stay the way they are, I'm not going to change. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to change because they already went through the rough stuff. And now they're coming through the recovery. Yep. And I had no fucking clue. Yeah. So. But even if they, if they, I mean, I think it should always be a Harley, regardless what. It has nothing to do with the dealership, like you said. Well, it has to do with the dealership. That's why I'm going there, because it's the dealership. That is maintains their integrity and maintains their correct. culture. Oh, yep. okay. You know, like Got when it. you go in there and you see the old guys with the vest, they have the hog club. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, and we're out in Scottsdale for the event and there's like 50 of them showed up to have a meeting at the Harley dealership. There's the culture. Right. It's the mm-hmm. fucking culture right there, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. The dealership maintains that. They'll have me forever, you know. And uh, I'm excited that that, that this yeah. has gotten cured because I wasn't completely aware of it. And, yeah, I, I found out. Didn't know until Sturgis. Yeah, wow. and Sean enlightened us. Yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, yeah. did you guys know? We're like, fuck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. And then you see it all over the place. Yeah. So. Well, I'm hopefully it's all the, cleared up. That agenda big bit off more they can chew when they went after Harley. It kind of did after Budweiser. I mean, Budweiser's been trying to dig their way out of mm-hmm. it. For I think they recovered a lot. And yeah. b- weird because Budweiser has a cultural following as well. Yeah, and oh. they were had a huge presence at Sturges. Budweiser? Yep. Really? Yeah, Budweiser. huge. Yep. Yeah. And yep. the fir- I remember the first commercial had M- Peyton Manning and mm-hmm. a bunch of these retired quarterbacks. I like the frogs. Yeah. The frogs. <laughs> I like the dog. I like the Christmas <laughs> one with the dog and the, dog. And the, the horse. horse. Yep. The horse. Yep. The horse. Oh I love the horse yep. one. Budweiser. Oh, beautiful. Yep. I don't, yeah. drink, we don't, I don't we even don't. drink beer, but Budweiser. Yeah. yeah. You know, you say beer, I say bud. I mean, that was just, that was it. Yeah. And they got hit hard, so. Yeah. I heard Harley's took some hits. Maybe they'll recover. Prices you know. went down. Prices yeah. went Time down. Time to go shopping. <laughs> yeah, their stock, I think their stock dropped 40%. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. what I read. That's a yeah. huge hit. See, yeah. and here's the thing. You're not, a CEO has a fiduciary responsibility to the stakeholders. Mm-hmm. And when you take off in a direction like that that harms the brand and the profits and the company in yeah. whole that's not being yeah. responsible for yeah. what he is hired to do exactly yep yeah American flag we got a little yeah. American flag on our banner you know yay um, when we went to Harley that's 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 part of the culture and we did our events we always let off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm-hmm. And they were yeah. like, yeah, heck yeah. And it's like, my gosh, you take this American icon mm-hmm. and then do something like that. I'm glad it, I'm glad maybe the smack in the mouth and get rid of that CEO and Harley and get back to Harley. <laughs> it sounds like they're already on their way back to Harley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. He's a German guy. He's yeah, well, some German dude. They mm-hmm. need to get American in there. Yeah. yeah. You know, somebody with some culture. Cultural mm-hmm. aware, cultural awareness, you know. Mm-hmm. Lord. Make Harley great again. Exactly. <laughs> we should get some hats. Make Harley great again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's uh, a fun idea. That'd be tight. <laughs> yeah, then we'll wear them down to the Harley dealer. Yeah, right. right. See how fast we get kicked out. <laughs> oh, God. This world is chaos. By the way, this is a Tuesday night. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. We're uh, Tuesday night. Ah. Smoking Tuesday. cigars, drinking whiskey. Drinking a little whiskey. We just uh, we're drinking our backup whiskey because we're out of our regular. Yeah. Stuff, yeah, yeah. But we we weren't we were talking about this, and then our VP of social media said, "You guys need to do a podcast right away." Yeah. And we're like, "Well, you know, last weekend John was out of town for business. This coming weekend John's out of town for business." And he's like, well, we need it right away. So we just mm-hmm. agreed on a Tuesday. You right. know. Oh, darn. We got to smoke cigars and drink whiskey on a Tuesday. Dang it. Shucks. Yep. You know? um, which is, is honestly true. I normally don't. We don't drink normally on during the week. Weekend. We save for the weekend, you know, mm-hmm. focus on work. But, you know, it's has to be, it has yeah. to be talked about. So. 
Yeah. Because I'm a Harley fan. Yep. I think we all are. Yep. Yeah. 100%. A lot of them out there. How old were you when you had your first one? It was a Harley Sprint. Freshman in high school. Nice. Or, nice. or eighth grade somewhere. I was between eight and 12, and my sister's boyfriend <laughs> got into it with my mom, and they had to drop their bike and run. I won't tell you why. And it so, was a Harley, and I had to help lift it up, and it's since then. So Dave's first him. Harley he stole. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh-oh. Borrowed without really? intent of returning. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to steal because, you know, I don't want to incriminate myself. Right? Never. I think you're, the Statue of Limitations probably come and gone. Yeah. Decades. <laughs> decades ago. <laughs> but it's a Harley. <laughs> but it's a Harley. There might not be a Statue of Limitations from the guy that owned it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's establish that. Oh, yeah. shit. So the law might not be able to do nothing, but the guy down the street with a gun might. So. Yeah. But yeah, I've been a Harley <laughs> fan forever. I just, you know, wanted one. Mm-hmm. Wanted yeah. one. Wanted one. So. Yeah. yeah. Any, th- any other thoughts on this whole thing? Not a long one, Sean. Just no. Uh, no. just to the point and direct, right? Yeah. Nope. No. Harley supporters. Exactly. Harley 100%. supporters. Dealership, uh, Riverside, California, mm-hmm. Harley. Scottsdale, Arizona, Harley. Supporters yeah. of them. The yep. dealership, yep. 100%. Yep. The CEO. Mm. Mm. Not so much. Yeah, nah, not so much at all. It'll be interesting to see how people respond to yeah. Harley. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll we'll cross our fingers. I'm sticking again. I'm sticking with them. They'd have to do something dramatic yeah. for yeah. me to walk away. But at this point, I'm sticking with Harley. So right. I was devastated when Coke came out with their new formula. Oh, what? New what? Coke. Years ago. That was years ago. Yeah. yeah new new Coke. New Coke. Yeah. And then nobody liked it, so they came back with classic Coke. Classic oh, okay. Coke. And they put classic Coke on right. all their cans because yeah. they didn't like the new Coke. They like, that's going to be one of those harebrained ideas know. where, personally, somebody doesn't like Coke, so I'm going to make it better for everybody else just because I like it. And, and then. Yeah, like Pepsi, Coke, they've got a following. Don't mm-hmm. change it, just exactly. change your advertisement to attract people yeah. to exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Stop yeah, no. changing the original. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But prices have come down, so I'm going to, you know, maybe, when, when are you going down to pick up your bike? <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> It'll be done tomorrow. Trading really? For a new one? What? Maybe. Wow. I'm hanging on mine. Wow. I got too many. Stop yeah, waiting. last time I got sucker, I got yeah. roped into it. Well, you I got started a, it. I got a it's 20. The thing is, you street. started this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did. I, I did. I did. And now yeah. we have one. But I would have been. But that's not the two. point. The point was I was cool with my street glide. I oh, guess. Yeah, Although I do like nice. my road glide better because it's. Wait, you said <laughs> when I come down there, we should go buy new bikes. I said you that. You said <laughs> that. And I'm like, I'm fucking down. And you took me serious. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> See, this is what John and John does this on purpose. He's like, I'll come up with an idea. But I won't follow through. But if I say it in front of David, he'll follow through. Yes. And so I don't come up with the ideas. He comes up with the ideas that I follow through, and then he tries to blame me for it. It's your fault. You do. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, John. It's all good. <laughs> we good? We're yeah. good. Go good. Harley. All right. Go I'll Harley. Go Harley. <laughs> Sean? <laughs> so you know where the end is? <laughs> you think? Yeah. <laughs>